Reverend Stephen Levitt and I'm in the entrance hall of Studley Methodist Church in their current building. There was at least one other building preceding this but then eventually they decided the old building was not fit for purpose, not enough room and they decided they needed to build another building and it took them 14 years to get around to it. And on the great day of May the 20th, 1872, a certain Mr. James Esquire had the glorious privilege of laying the stone and the church itself opened almost exactly a year later. Now, we didn't know much about Mr. H. James, but um, somebody recently has done some research looking at the archives of things like the Redditch um, indicator, I think it's called, and they found a newspaper article describing the day and the speeches and they even were able to say how much the church had cost to build. As a quiz question, how much do you think it cost in 1872 stroke three to build a place like this? Anyway, uh, we found out about Mr. James and it turns out that uh, his name wasn't H. James at all. It's another letter. We reckon that uh, this plaque must have been a replacement of an original plaque. Um, and that somebody got the name wrong. <laughs> but there's something meant to be behind the plaque. It does feel a bit hollow. And then we were able to find out all about Mr. James. He was quite a significant uh, employer in Redditch on Clive Road, I think his main place of employment resided. Now, if you want to find out more about who else presided on the occasion, how much they needed to raise and who Mr. James Esquire was. Well, you can come along and find out about it at our anniversary events. We've got an afternoon tea and uh, exhibition opening that's on Saturday. You'll have seen it on the poster at four o'clock. And then the exhibition is going to be open at various other times, which will be publicized in due course. And then we've got our anniversary service on the Sunday morning, commencing 10.45, again, to which you're very welcome. If you want to know more about the mysteries of what lies behind the plaque and who Mr. James was, you're invited to come along and view it in the exhibition.